What's up, folks? Okay, so I got Throne of Tides, and it seems I've been put straight in at a boss. Well, what can you say? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I uh, don't forget to show you a little bit of trash, or I'll just uh, I'll just fucking have to do this again. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. All right, so we're getting into our dungeon. What is our first priority as a combat rogue or a rogue of any sort of spec? Boom, focus your tank. Use your focus tricks macro. Where is it? Oh, 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 there it is, focus tricks. I'll put it in the comments for you, along with the armory. Poisons, make sure we're poisoned up. We've got our instant poison main hand. We've got our deadly poison offhand, and we are good to fucking go, boys. We are good to go. So we're just waiting on what appears to be our healer. Yep, there we go. Sorted. So we don't need to go into stealth as a combat role. We don't get any benefit from it. We're just going to stay as we are, looking badass, undead, with spiky hair, look always cool. Go with our tricks. And we're going... Get our slice and dice on as soon as possible. And then we're going to fire off our adrenaline rush straight away. Get behind the target. Revealing strikes. Get our rupture going. And keep going. That's it. Kick in when we can. Need a revealing strike. Doo -doo. Keeping an eye on our adrenaline rush. Our slice and dice going to refresh that now. I'm going to see if we can get up to another... Uh, Oh, it's going to refresh anyway. So this is redirect time, isn't it, guys? Because we redirect five combo points. And then we... Tr I see the way I tricked it onto the other guy. Onto the tank. So we've lost our redirect. Give it a big sprint. Oh, two mobs. Blade flurry time, guys. This is where the blade flurry comes into its own. Make sure you're behind for the arcing slash. Revealing strike. Come on. And get an eviscerate off. Go ahead and switch blade flurry off. When our energy is low, we're going to do the big fucking killing spree. There we go. Feeling strike. We're going to eviscerate because he's going to change pretty quickly. Oh, we're going to get blown up. Don't want that. He's going to change forms. That's why we're not... There it is. Our redirect's back. Redirect tricks. We're just going to refresh our slice and dice off that. And we're going to fire off the blade flurry for two mobs. Oh, yeah. Switch off Blade Flurry when you can. Now we're down to one mob. No! Big Preacher got caught! This is just abysmal situation. Preacher doesn't get caught. Back on the boss. I think I've just run it. <laughs> oh, this is just outrageous. So bad. Ah, come on! Come on. Adrenaline rush. One second left. Adrenaline rush. There's just flying tanks everywhere, guys. Our rupture's never going to tick, so we're going to keep eviscerating. Don't want to get blown into that. Boom. Boss dead. Big Preacher. Top of the DPS. Big 13k DPS. Didn't even play that awesome at all. Ooh. Heroic axe. Any benefit to me at all? Not really. Go ahead and greed that. No bonus to us whatsoever. So there you go. That's a quick demonstration of what we should be doing, guys. Go ahead and skip this cutscene real quick. And you noticed how quickly our cooldowns, cooldowns came back then because we used that ability. Where am I? I'm just going the wrong way today, guys. Let's give it a big, a big dirty sprint. I've got my head up my ass because I've been put into a dungeon halfway. Not cool. Not cool. We're back. Get our tricks going. I'm going to be a little bit late to this boss which sucks okay slice and dice up revealing strike get our rupture going oh i tried to vanish it like a cool boss but it just did not work so now i'm slacking on the damage managed to get the rupture on get back to the target a big revealing strike Get the eviscerate on. Come on. Yeah. Now I need to get slice and dice back up. Two seconds left. So we're going to put a quick slice and dice on it. Our energy's low. Let's go ahead and killing spree. Revealing strike again. That's it. Keep our rupture going. And we're just attacking away, guys. Come on. Revealing strike's on. Let's, let's even get the quick eviscerate off. Yeah. Now we need to go for slice and dice. One point slice and dice is fine, guys. It really is. If, as long as you keep slice and dice ticking away. With all the buffs we've got from talents, we're actually going to gain some very, very 
nice attacks from that. Oh, come on. A little trick if you don't know, guys, is Shiv removes enrage effects. So you should bear that in mind. So we're going for a big slice and dice to finish off there. Adrenaline rush is back. Go, go. Use your cooldowns, guys. That's what they're there for. And down he goes. So there's Big Preacher with a 15k DPS. A bit of a poor start, but no matter at all. We still fucking roasted the DPSs, and that's what matters. That is what matters, guys. We are winning the fucking day, and that's all we're about in our dungeons. We win the fucking day. So I'm hoping to show you a little bit more Blade Flurry action. Hopefully, I'll use Blade Flurry on this trash so you can see what's going on with that. Moving along, come on guys, get yourselves moving. The Danish Vikings, they're not Vikings up in this bitch, Danish Vikings. As you can see, I brought along a tank today, um, just purely because the queue times were absolutely outrageous. I was waiting for about 20, 25 minutes, so I just asked the friends to come along and tank for us. That's our friend Juxta, just, as just, got, just an alt, he's going to tank for us, just so we can speed this up a little bit. So, tricks on, blade flurry on. Let's get it. So we're, our attacks here are going to be attacking everything else around us. You can see here the blade flurry is starting to tick for some big damage. I'm just going to leave it on. Oh, I'm slowed. And my sprint is on cooldown. This is no good. Ah, come on. Damn him pulling absolutely everything. Come on. Oh, man. So we're going to refresh our slice and dice. We're going to get our energy nice and low. And then we're going to throw off a big killing spree. Let's redirect. There's our energy low. We've got our blade flurry and it's all affected by the killing spree, guys. You can see it went all over the place. And that's what we want. Use our revealing strike. Get ourselves four up again. Keep eviscerating. Now your eviscerate damage is also transferred via the, the glory that is blade flurry. You can see I'm doing 17k DPS. Just by attacking one target. I'm not doing anything special, guys. I'm not doing anything different at all. I'm just attacking away. Come on, get the eviscerate. Nice. So you're pulling off 17k DPS there because you're just attacking the other target as well, and that's why it's important. So we're going to switch our blade flurry off for now. I'm not sure if we need it, depending on what mobs we get first. In fact, I'll switch it on because we're going to get these bloody. Uh, yeah, we're going to get these douchebags first. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, everything's dead via mushrooms. Damn Moonkins. In fact, I'm going to switch it off and switch to this guy. Giving kicks. Get a big slice and dice up so we can keep it up all the time. Now, don't forget, we've got five combo points. You see the way we can redirect it over? So, we've already got five combo points on this guy. We're not going to bother with the blade flurry in these. They die far too quickly. Far, far too quickly. Just attacking them is almost a waste of energy for us. Now we're saving our cooldowns for that big burst. Refresh our slice and dice. Just keep attacking. Use tricks whenever you can just to help out. Go ahead and kidney shot that one. Just make sure no cast. We don't want extra damage on our tank. And being out cheesed by mushrooms. Oh, I've got a blade flurry of these. Ching -de 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 -de. Try and get a slice and dice on. Switch blade flurry back off in one second. No tricks. Oh, come on, get me there. So slow. So slow. And the most important thing of everything, guys, it's really just so key that you keep that slice and dice going. All the time, you need to be attacking that much faster so you get all the extra energy procs that we spoke about in the talents. You need to be making sure that your slice and dice is rocking. So we're going to go ahead and start on this bad boy. Get a revealing strike on. Five combo points, rupture. Our slice and dice is about to wear. We're saving our DPS cooldowns. Keep slice and dice rolling. I'm going to move away because I'm going to take a load of damage from that. I don't want that. I'm going to redirect my combo points over to this guy. Do, do, do. Keep the rupture going. I'm just doing everything I can to max my damage. Use a revealing strike. Five combo points. Eviscerate that. That's going to die. It's got rupture and stuff on. So we're going to move over to this one. First things first. He's got a slice and dice going. Number one priority all the time, guys. Revealing strike. Get our rupture going. 
It may not tick all the way, but that's unfortunate for us. Ah, come on. Revealing strike. I'm actually going to save these five combo points because we're going to switch it over to the big dude. There he is. So I've got five combo points, slice and, pie, slice and dice. Adrenaline rush, straight off the bat. Get our revealing strike on. There's the rupture. You can see how fast our energy bar is going. Look at that. Boom. Pulling off absolutely everything that we can to make sure that's going on. So much damage coming out of that. Let's see if we can finish it off with a nice killing spree. It's not going to let us. Oh well, unfortunate guys. So that was extremely quick, wasn't it? But I generally showed you what you should be doing there with the blade flurry, kicking, all these sort of ideas that you should move into it. A nice 51k DPS there. Let's have a look at what our other guys were against. Nice blue geared, couple of epics mage. Again, a nice blue geared enhancement shaman. And our, that, our healer is okay as well. So there you go, guys. That is the very quick combat road guide. If you're not happy with that, I might do another one. But that was it was pretty quick and demonstrated everything I wanted you to see. Don't want a super long videos. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.